please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Well, talking about global developments, the big thing that stood out is what is happening with bond markets. India is not alone in terms of the yields that have hardened across US as well as Europe. Lata joins in to give us more details on this. Lata. Uh, well, uh, actually, this global probably sell-off started sometime yesterday noon, but uh, it wasn't noticed so much. We did see our yields inching up. The new 10-year was going towards 7.35, but uh, then the economic survey, uh, you know, started. Uh, uh, we, we started getting those flashes, and one of the statements that didn't go very well for the bond markets was that uh, uh, fiscal consolidation, uh, general fiscal consolidation, state plus center, may take a pause. Those were the very words that the chief economic advisor uh, used. Uh, you know, people started finding more faults, or rather, a rattled bond market started looking for other reasons to sell off, or at least not buy bonds and then the fact that normally this uh, economic survey makes a strong pitch for rates to be cut now it's very fair that now there is no way that rates can be cut when inflation is at five percent and will go towards six percent uh, because of base effect but even the fact that the only quarter that was asking for you know a pause in rates at least is not making any pitch on their behalf it was a welter of things and there was a detailed explanation on why the bond market is confusing the market borrowing number with fiscal deficit. I mean, the bond market was in no mood to listen. They don't want to buy and these explanations were only, uh, you know, putting them off in terms of no help coming from the government or the Reserve Bank in terms of a support for bond yields. But it was only later in the day we realized that uh, Probably the market was uh, getting unnerved by this global sell-off in yes. bonds. Now, you know, for the first time in, I think, 11 years, we distinctly saw so many market commentaries talk of the word inflation. inflation. For the last 10 years, it was deflation that has rocked the markets. For the first time, you know, we heard, heard inflation commentaries, whether you read bond commentaries, whether you read stock commentaries or... Uh, FX commentaries and of course it's not just inflation fears for the US markets it's also a weak dollar which means mm -hmm. imported items are expensive so that also push pushes up inflation and uh, therefore 2.7 2.72 uh, on the US 10 year a level we have not seen in four years and uh, uh, that became a global well. contagion.